Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. Thanks for joining me today. And today we have something that um, I'm going to give a viewer discretion just because of the way some people may react to some of this stuff. Um, and uh, just be aware we're going to talk about some World War II related issues and pre World War II related issues with these Meissen metals. Meissen is um, known for making these metals out of clay or porcelain, pardon me, that you would see they'd actually made quite a few, um, they'd actually made uh, a, quite a few of the hyperinflationary currency. And these guys are all German patriotic medallions from the 30s and 40s. And so they praise a lot of things here, but uh, that, um, of course, some people will find offensive. It is patriotic to uh, the time period that a lot of people like to forget. But uh, I'm a pretty firm believer that you have to stare some of this ugliness in the face and uh, take a closer look at it and then realize that uh, stuff like this can happen again. So, Zer Aaron Renrong und Feldsung in Frankreich. So, we got the big old tank on this guy. And the swastika. So on uh, these guys are usually made out of this kind of red red porcelain, and you can see the uh, the artwork on them and how they're made. What was interesting to me about this group, it's a pretty large group, is that there's a bunch of them that are uh, on white porcelain, which is the other one you see. But there's also some that are colored. Um, and if you look at this, this is celebrating an attack on Paris. June 14th, 1940, and um, you know, the type of thing that we don't necessarily think about. And so when I got this medal and you know, there's certain things about these medals that really struck me. I mean, this one, uh, of course, just the uh, planes flying, flying over Paris. Here we go with um, really just something that you know we've got we've got some we've got some medals that also celebrate military stuff this one's interesting because it's actually a white metal but also has a colored rim to it this red colored rim and then it also has the fasces colored black the swastika colored black and uh talking about England here on this one. I did translate a few of them. I should probably just grab a couple so you can get a feel for what they say. Um, so this one actually has that same reverse as the other one does that we looked at first, but it's got a green, green glaze to it on the edges. And then on the other side, a green glaze and the ribbon. Das Deutsche Volk dankt seinen Tapfern Soldaten. So that's uh, we thank our, you know, the German people thank our brave soldiers. 1939. On that piece, let me grab a couple more that I had bothered to translate, just so you get a feel for. Is it this one? Mit Mann und Ross und Wagen hat sie der Herr geschlagen. Um, the Lord has defeated, defeated them with man and horse and chariot. Um, if I could if I could get slightly theological for half a second, this is uh, yeah, tape on here. This is um, yeah, invoking the Lord's name in war, just not not a thing that I not a thing for me. Um, Danzig Deutsch. September 1939, and then you'll see a lot of maps and city city demarcations on there uh, from, I assume all these sites are city demarcations on the map. Some of you guys who are World War II experts, you're going to see this stuff and go, oh yeah, no, I know all about that one. I know all about that one. Es kann er nur einen zeigen und das sind wir. That is another military attack one. Uh, only one can win. Uh, only one person can win. 
und das sind wir, and that is us. And then the other side, once again, the white with the green and the black. Um, ein Glaube, ein Villa, ein Seil, Sieg. One belief, one goal, one victory. That guy. And last one that had, uh, I bothered to translate this because there's a bunch of them here. Um, nope, maybe that was the last one. Maybe that's the last one. After that, we'll just go through these and look at designs. And once again, for those of you who are World War experts, you're probably going to know a lot more about these just at a glance. And of course, if you know German, that makes it a lot easier for you to know uh, about these guys. Here's that map again. Whoop. Um, hmm. I should probably check and see if that map is actually the same map. This is the reverse side again about the uh, German people thanking their brave soldiers. Here we've got some more maps. This one, yeah, a little tape on there. Uh, first to the 10th of October, 1938. And once again, one people, um, one, was that, is Reich one government? Is that how that's used? Ein people, ein Reich, ein Führer. So, you know, for Americans, and I'll, I'll speak for myself as someone who obviously wasn't around during World War II, you know, we often think about World War II as 1940 and on, and we often forget um, about anything previous to that. Here's a medal with Hindenburg on it with uh, gold and golden, golden paint on it on a white porcelain. But we often think about World War II as starting in 1940, of course, not being overseas, what is overseas to us, not being in Europe to see what's going on there. And, you know, but for a lot of people here, you know, a lot of what um, we, we know as the migration of humanity over to America started in the 20s and 30s from Europe. And so I know for, for uh, my family and actually for my wife's family both, um, you saw migration in the 20s and 30s into both uh, different areas in North and South America because of things that were on, going on over there. Yeah, and this is interesting because this looks like a Viking ship. I was trying to figure out if those are supposed to be faces or skulls, and I'm still not sure. They may just be faces. From a distance, they look like skulls, but they look the same as that dude does. Alrighty. So this this whole group of of uh, this metals will do. I'll probably just try to sell as a lot. Um, there's 27 metals in all. So this is celebrating, I think, a really big canon, if I'm not mistaken, that they had uh, they had made it had to go on rails. It's been a while since I've watched any World War II uh, historical documentaries. So if I can ignore all of the content and just look at the overall design, you know, uh, these the white porcelain with two or three colors on them, the white and green are very bold looking, good looking pieces as far as actual design goes. You know, but it's hard to, it's really hard to imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, planes flying over your city and just like dropping bombs. And there's lots of symbolism on these guys. That's an earlier piece that uh, we've had in the past, actually.
There's, uh, we saw that one, I think, in white metal already. White metal, I keep saying metal. You can see the different varieties, though. Some of them, it's the same piece with a different color palette. I wonder if those were given out to people of different rank or if just, you know, I'm curious about the use of the different colors of porcelain and then the different colors, um, the red and the green, and if that really meant anything one way or the other on these guys. So there is a little bit of duplication in the group, but overall, there's a lot of uh, a lot of variation because some of them will look similar and then they'll actually be different. Here's another one with the colored fasces, and I think that's also um, oh look at that Creta. That's probably Crete, the island of Crete. Things I don't even think about, like what was happening in Crete during World War II. And then you've got the paratroopers coming down. I thought paratroopers only existed in G.I. Joe. You know, I didn't think they were real things. I guess that's what happens when you live in times that are pretty peaceful. You don't recognize some of the things that other people have had to go through. And it's hard sometimes really to live through things just through history books. And I find this to be much more gritty and compelling to have actual memorabilia from the time period and from the events. You know, it really puts things into, I think, perspective. Makes it real, you know, kind of, kind of, maybe that's how I'd put it. Just a couple more here to look at. And then we're going to call it, call it a day. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.